Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, April 5th, 2021. All right, let's get started. One across, animal that barks. Hmm, uh, I believe this is a dog. This seems suspiciously easy even for a Monday puzzle, but let's see if we can confirm it. College faculty head? No, yeah, that should be a dean. Okay, so we're confirmed for dog. Whale that preys on octopuses. Uh, hmm. I guess that's maybe an orca. Another name for a killer whale. Worrisome as news. Hmm. Would it be grim, maybe? That would definitely be bad news. Let's see if that makes sense on the cross here. Blunder? Yeah, that could be to error, to make a mistake. So yeah, I think we can safely put in Grim here. Blank of the game, name of the game. Um, okay, certain psychedelic experience. This is looking like a theme answer. And it's pointing us to 63 across down here. Um, I have a feeling certain psychedelic experience is going to be acid trip, I guess. It's a certain experience because it's specifically talking about acid. Um, I'm not sure uh, how that's gonna tie in with the rest of the theme. I think we might have to maybe uncover another one or two theme answers before we get the full extent of the theme here. Make a pick, that could be opt. Uh, cockpit reading, that could maybe be airspeed. Yeah, I like that answer for that one. Okay, air speed. And then what do we have on the cross here? Bourbon barrel material. Yeah, I think they're usually made with oak. Gives it the nice earthy tones. Blank colada. I think that could be a pina colada. It's coming up on pina colada season here. It's very exciting. Makes a scarf say, could be knits. Gibbon or gorilla, those are both kinds of apes, just like humans are apes. Early auto engines power source. Oh, I guess that could be steam. Yeah, I guess before they used gasoline, they used steam. Very interesting. They also had electric vehicles early on in automobiles too. There was electric cars around the turn of the century. Yeah. Like vinegar, um, I guess that could be acidic. Yeah, vinegar's very acidic. Jeez, that sucks. And when you see a clue in quotes like this, that means you need to come up with an equivalent phrase. So something that means pretty much exactly the same thing as, geez, that sucks. Um, hmm. What could that be? It could be like bummer, but bummer is too long to fit in this shorter space. So it can't be that. Hmm. Social stratum? Could be class, maybe? Yeah. Like a class structure in a society. Nevada City on the Truckee River. Hmm. Um, it's not Reno? I don't know. If it's not Reno, I'm not sure if I know what it is. Jeez, that sucks. Um, I feel like we should be able to get this. Hmm. Roll for a groundskeeper? Shouldn't that be sod? Yeah, I guess something's wrong. Maybe that's why we're having trouble here. So maybe it's not class, and this should be sod, like a roll of grass that they would lay out. Um, and then maybe this is cased. Yeah, okay. That is a good answer for that as well. Hmm, I'm mad? I don't know about that. Hmm. Bank holdup could be a heist. Bunt single, e.g. And this is another theme answer, it looks like. So we've got acid trip and whatever this is gonna be. Hmm. Another way to say bunt single? Like infield hit, maybe? Ooh, yeah, I like that a lot. 
in baseball. Yeah, if you hit a ball in the infield and get on base, that's called an infield hit. Tribal leader could be a chief. List for a meeting? Uh, maybe an agenda? Yeah, a good organized meeting will have an agenda. Nintendo game featuring balance exercises. I think that's We Fit, right? Yeah. Here's our equivalent answer. Aw, oh, man. Yeah, that means almost the same thing as, geez, that sucks, right? Yeah. Construction area, e.g., could be a site. Let, let's just confirm these two answers here. Heading in a word processing menu, edit, yeah, you'll see that at the top of the screen. And destiny is fate, yeah, those both look good. Boy, this really looks like it wants to be Reno, doesn't it? I mean, it's the only city in Nevada that I really know, but it's looking good there. PC monitor type in brief could be an LCD monitor, liquid crystal display. Hip hop producer who founded Aftermath Entertainment. Um, I haven't heard of this Aftermath Entertainment, but I have a feeling it's probably Dr. Dre. Yeah. At the drop of blank instantly at the drop of a hat means instantly right and then we've got what's this down visibly elated hmm rapturous is too long i think hmm yearn for could be crave scare off could be deter yeah if you're deterring people from snooping you're scaring them off Cheap neighborhood bar. Um, maybe that's, that could be a local dive, right? There's dive bars. Okay, so, hmm. What do these theme answers have in common? Dive, hit, trip? Maybe their last word is gonna kind of be related somehow? I can't think of anything that has diving, hitting, and tripping in it, though. Hmm. Maybe, I mean, it could just be that they're all verbs that are being used as nouns in these phrases. I guess that could be the theme, possibly. Visibly elated? Okay, I think that's going to be radiant. Hang idly around. That could be loiter. No loitering. Hack off could be lop off. Yeah, when you see a word at the end of a clue like this in parentheses, that just means you need to be able to put that same word at the end of your answer and have it still make sense. So lop off still makes sense. Yeah, okay. Nonsense. Hmm. I'm not sure what that's going to be. Fairy tale bear with a hard bed. I guess that's Papa Bear. Nonsense. Hmm. Jeans material. Okay, that could be denim. And then, okay. <laughs> Nonsense, I guess, is malarkey. That's great. That's a great word. I think that's a uh, phrase that our current president enjoys using quite a bit. Um, okay. Talk too long. Uh, it looks like it's going to be something on, like run on, maybe. Hmm. How is this not Reno? <laughs> it can't be Rhino, right? Um, so maybe hairstyle popularized by Lucille Ball. It almost looks like it wants to end in bun, doesn't it? So maybe this is a scenic? Hmm, that's really weird. I've never seen that word before, a scenic. Interesting. It does seem like this should end in bun though. Pop singer Dion. That should be Celine Dion. Um, maybe it ends in cut? 
Yeah, like some kind of something cut, like some kind of haircut. So it's acetic, like acetic acid, I guess. Boy, that's really hard having that not be acidic. They're they're almost spelled identically. Boy, that's a really tricky little swap out there, especially for a Monday. Performs like Iggy Azalea. Uh, is she a rapper? I think that might be right. Raps. Expressed contempt for. That could be derided. That's a good vocab word there. If you're deriding something, you're expressing disdain for it. Yeah. Falcons on scoreboards. That's the Atlanta Falcons. Provoke. Could that be incite? Yeah, like if you incite a riot, you provoke a riot. No bid from me. Another equivalent phrase we have to come up with here. That could be I pass maybe. Maybe in something like bridge possibly. Connection points. That could be nodes. Okay, so this is going to be Poodle Cut. Okay, I do recognize this now that we had almost all of it filled in. Okay, yeah, that was her hairstyle. It was a Poodle Cut. So this is another verb that is being used as a noun in this theme answer, right? I think that has to be our, our, our theme today is verbs that are nouned. Yeah. For two in music? Is it a do, maybe? Hmm, I don't know about that. Drops in the mail could be sends. Bygone Mach 1 Breaker for short is the supersonic transport, like the Concorde. Yeah, the plane that could fly faster than the speed of sound. Home of many a courthouse. Hmm, is it going to be county seat maybe seat is a verb that could be a noun right yeah it could be hmm it could be county jail also jail could also be a verb and a noun hmm delivery room instruction that should be push right when you're having a baby they tell you to push okay so it's looking like maybe it is seat want to join us Another equivalent phrase that could be you in. Yeah. Home of the George W. Bush Institute in brief. Um, this is probably a university somewhere. I don't know where that is though. Major water line could be a main, like the main water line. SMU. I don't even know what school that is. Hmm. Interesting. Capitol Hill staffers, those are aides. Yeah, people that help out elected officials. Busiest airport in the Midwest. I guess that would probably be O'Hare. That's the airport in Chicago, right? Yeah, that's the biggest Midwest city, so that would make sense. Real low life. Um, is it sleaze? P.S. Let's see if this is an S. Hey, over here, another equivalent phrase? Yeah, that could be pst, like you're trying to get someone's attention. Um, okay, so yeah, let's put in sleaze. And okay, yeah, maybe we can look at the revealer now that we have all these filled in. So there, or what you can do to the ends of the answers to the starred clues. Hmm, take that. Oh, interesting. So, so there is another one of these equivalent phrase clues. So take that is another way to say so there, but it also is something you can do to the ends of the theme answers. So let's put in take that and then think about how that last part could work. Um, you can do to the ends of the answers. So let's just take trip. Trip that? No, I think it's the other way around. I think you're taking 
the ends of the answer. So it would be take a trip, take a hit, take a dive, take a cut, I guess like a pay cut maybe, and take a seat. Okay, there we go. I guess it's not really what we were thinking. I mean, even though these all could be verbs, um, yeah, they're in the theme answer, in the revealer, they're not really, they're still not being used as verbs. They're just, they can all, they can all also be used in phrases that start with take a. Yeah, that's still a pretty good way to tie them all together. Yeah, I think it's kind of, it's a little bit cleaner than being able to just say, oh, these are verbs too. Um, yeah, so I actually kind of like the way they went with it a little better than what I was originally thinking. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of a nice way to tie them all together. That's pretty cool. Looks without blinking. That could be stairs. Item that may be baked or mashed informally is a tater. Boil them up, mash them, stick them in a stew. Ulta Beauty Sephora competitor. Ooh, I guess this is um, like makeup. I haven't heard of this brand before. I'm just gonna kind of trust that it's correct. Put on hold. Is it defer? Yeah, like you could defer a year in college. Put on hold, yeah. Org that monitors consumer scams. Is that the FTC maybe? The Federal Trade Commission, I think is what that stands for. Oysters creation could be a pearl. Yeah. Ship personnel would be the crew of a ship. Caustic solution is a lie. Yeah, that's what they used to make soap. And ovine mother. Ooh, that's tricky. That's a U. Yeah, ovine is just sheep related. Religious sisters. I guess it could be nuns. Yeah, like in the Catholic Church. Here comes trouble. One last phrase. I guess it could be uh oh. Mama's mama could be a nana, maybe? That's a word for grandma, right? Number of Q tiles in Scrabble. Yeah, that's just the one. It's worth 10 points if you can use it. And then what? what is our last square here? Ingredient in a Denver omelet, I think is probably ham. And then part of a cherry you don't eat is stem. Yeah, okay, let's see if that finishes it off for us. Nice, there we go, 1919. All right, yeah, I think that's a pretty good time for a Monday puzzle. Um, although this one did present a little bit of a challenge. I wasn't just flying through it. I felt like there was some trickiness here. I think this acetic really slowed us down instead of being acidic. Um, yeah, I think that's the only part of the puzzle I didn't like. I think it's just too close to acidic um, to you know, maybe on a later week puzzle that would be okay, but I think on a Monday you'd want it to be a little cleaner. Um, but as far as the rest of it goes, yeah, I think it was great. Um, I think the theme was nice. Yeah, I mean, it's not too complicated. Like, you kind of want it on a Monday theme. They all take the word take in front of them. Take a trip. Take a hit. Yeah, these are all phrases that are very familiar. Um, yeah, very cute. And yeah, the rest of the cluing was good. Um, a lot of equivalent phrases in this one. Um, and uh, yeah, it definitely wasn't a pushover. Um, yeah, this definitely had a little bit of a bite to it for a Monday. So yeah, I enjoyed that a lot. I love, I think malarkey is definitely the entry of the, the puzzle. That is just fantastic. That is a great term. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed my take on this Monday's puzzle. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. All right, I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time.